Welcome back to Tactical Reboot with Tom and Gene. Yes, we are back at it again with Subnautica. Oh boy. Oh yeah, and as you can see from the countdown, we have a sunbeam on, uh, on, our, on its way. Uh, so, why don't we... You know what? Uh, we're going to be on the gun island anyways. So why don't we grab this? Why are we going to be on the gun island? Uh, because that's where we're going to have to go for this. So... Are we taking the new ship? We can, yes. Okay. Well, let's hop on our new baby and ride first on out. First I need some ladder fish. Oh, we need water. Yes. Should have probably done that, but hey, you know what? <laughs> we're here. We're all here. We're gonna do this together. You're gonna watch me catch bladder fish, and then eat their fucking heads off. Rawr! Oh my goodness. <laughs> Anyways, so we had quite a bit of fun in the last episode, didn't we? We did have a lot of fun in the last episode. That's right. Do you remember what we were talking about? Because I don't. No, I think it was just random gibberish. <laughs> <laughs> There were so many shenanigans. <laughs> there were quite a few. Seriously, there we go. Give me you right there. So we are going into Leviathan infested territory. Oh? Yeah. Uh, shouldn't be too bad though, because we'll stay pretty high up. Come here, you little bastard. Okay. Um, so it probably would be a good idea. Ooh, we could even put shark bait inside Marlin. Yes, we could. And that way we have all of our little spaceship stuff. Yep. All right, so that's a couple shark, uh, uh, <laughs> shark bait. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I need battery. Okay, well, good thing it ran out now. I have a ton of batteries. Do All right, we? so where did I park Marlin? There he is, all the way over there. All right, so first things first. Let's go over here. Over. We need the batteries. And. Let's double check our other crap first. Uh, 17%. Yeah, we'll swap out some batteries. All right, change. You turn off. Fire Probably you. charge the ones we've been using. Yeah. Get those going. That doesn't need it. Yeah, screw it. We'll change you out. Come on. There we go. Uh, <laughs> repair tool is at 0% charge. Interesting. Why are you... Did I... Oh, I'm dumb. I put my other battery in it. There we go. Alright, let's charge these things. You. 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 Alright, let's make some food right quick. Or some water, I mean. Mm -hmm. You'd think I'd have a surplus in it, but man, you go through a lot of water in this damn game. <laughs> man, he chugs it. I think they're trying to tell you something. Probably. Stay hydrated. <laughs> Probably. All right, there we go. Okay, so let's uh, let's drink real quick. All right, we'll keep an extra cup of water on us. We don't need the extra batteries. Can we right. need a couple extra food just in case. Uh, yeah, we'll bring one nutrition block and we'll bring a med kit just in case. Just All in right. case. Good idea. Let us, uh, let's see, scanner on to repair, blah, blah. No, something's not playing nice. Which one? You're not playing nice. Damn it. What the hell? I want you. You. Is that three? Oh. <laughs> My mouse. Pushing the wrong buttons, dear. Yep. Mm -hmm. Don't judge me. Anyway. No judgment. Alright, where's my big bad bastard at? There she be, be. There she be. Alright. And we're a Captain. Systems online. I hope I didn't leave this thing on. I don't think you did. I could have sworn you nope, turned we're 100% engine down. Powering up. Yeah. All right, we're going to keep it there for now. Uh, I do have a fire extinguisher in here. And um, we've got 12 minutes to get to where we need to be. That's right. So let's take a quick peep around, find the Aurora. Should be. Let's go here. Is that my top camera? There's my top camera. All right, so there's the Aurora. There's the sunbeam. Let's go. All 
right. All right, we got Marlin out. Is it space? Right click? Which way is down? I don't remember. Is it E, F, oh. Q, Shift? No, space is up. I don't remember which one down is. That's lights. That's probably something I'm forgetting. Nope, that's, that's get off the sub. He is to exit. Yeah. F. Oh, it's getting close to something there. It's something silly, I know it. What, are you trying to die? I see. There we go. Uh, I was trying to get down, like, submerge. Ah. Alright, so now let's go back to my cameras. What's up, fartfish? Something, like, attacking me? No? Okay. Alright, so we're going to be starting to get into some deeper water, so we don't have to worry too much about, you know, all this shenanigans going on. Mm -hmm. Hitting things. Anyways, we're just a couple seamen inside of a boat. <laughs> Anchors away. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. So let's shift the cameras around. Let's get you down a couple. There we go. We can see. And the thing I like about the uh, Cyclops is I can still head forward and look around me. You know, mm -hmm. all the fun stuff. See what's going on. Mm hmm. Now I could put it up another couple notches to uh, on this or another notch on the speed, but we risk, run the risk of catching fire, uh, and nobody wants that. At least until I put the fire suppression system in. Oh, is that why we're going obnoxiously slow right now? Yeah. It was, well, it's not really obnoxiously slow. It just looks slow. Uh huh. Yeah. No, it feels slow too. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Is that a shark? Uh, sand shark? Yeah, it's a sand shark. Okay. All right, we're good. We're good. First things first. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, so I don't need no slithery, uh, slithery snake leviathans coming after me now. <laughs> so there's a sunken lifeboat. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. You're freaking out and you're looking for that leviathan. Oh, I'm fucking you. Damn right I am. <laughs> Commander Dickbag is always around. Will he attack this? Yes. But I do have one... Uh, I should have made a few, actually, of the uh, creature decoys, so that way he could go after that while we make our escape. Mm-hmm. But we're almost to the island. Okay. So, and there's a little bit of investigating to do. We got nine minutes to hunt around, and I think he's a little bit further... And lower down, but the heat, they will come up this way. Smack that school of fish in the face! Is that all the noise we're hearing? Is just the fish? Yeah, and things? yeah, just smacking fish and stuff. Alright. Well, we don't want to, uh. So let's take a look where we're at. We're about to run into a wall. Yep, that's why I stopped. Okay, so. Let's get out of here. Engine. Powering down. Okay. So, didn't take any damage. Let's turn the lights off. Alright. So, let's go investigating. Oh, hi, Mr. Fishy. What are you doing in my ship? What fish? Uh, let's just get out the way here. What did you see? I missed it. You see that little school, like one of these guys popped up in the boat? Oh, no, I missed that. You Ooh, didn't want to take Look at that parking job. Oh, my God. Like a glove. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't want to take shark bait instead and kind of... Uh, well, because we're going above water, so shark bait does us no good up here. So, if I remember right... So, we need to be around here. So, this is the perfect view of what's about to take. You want to fook on me? I'm going to fook on you. Come here, bitch. Come here. Oh, yeah. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. All right, let's go. So we got seven minutes to look around, fuck around, do all the shenanigans we want to do, uh, whilst waiting on the sunbeam to come rescue us. Mm -hmm. Wow, why am I getting little bits of lag here? Well, that seems strange. Yeah, it is. Ooh. What's yeah, that do? I didn't do? know that was there. It's a little key fragment. We use those to get into these places. And that's why I brought oh. the extra one so we can investigate the gun. 
Interesting. Is it? Let's find out. Hey, what's up, Mr. Aurora? You know, what? it would be really fucked up, and I'd hate to think of this, is hmm. the Leviathan making a buggy-ass appearance. Did he... Rest he just, in peace. He just... <laughs> <laughs> he did. He just, he just jumped to his death. Life's more precious than that sand fucker. Uh, look, man, they are just... Whee! All right. <laughs> I think we're just interrupting their diving experience. That's all we're doing. Probably. Oh, Slice, I'm gonna cut you, foo! That one didn't even attack you. and You just straight up... I don't care. <gasps> see? See? Well, you probably ah! killed his girlfriend now. He's all mad at you. <laughs> you killed Shayla! <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> Oh, oh, that's what we're missing. Chicka, 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 chicka. <laughs> it's the little rattler. Yes, I remember. Okay. The little I maracas. I don't, I don't think I've ever ventured up this way before. Really? Why not? It seems so fun. Wow, that's a lot of lithium. I'm gonna grab all that lithium. Oh, it's another uh, teleport gate. Okay. Man, I like me some lithium. 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 Hey, I'm gonna cut you, foo. I'm gonna cut you. Yeah, if you get to them first, they're pretty weak. Mm. So you need a power sword. Insert ion cube. I don't have an ion cube. What is that? A I'm moth going... of some sort? Sky ray? What are you doing here? Are you a fish or are you a bird? Huh? Can I have scan, please? Apparently not. Alright. Little bastard. Oh! Ho, ho. Oh! All right. See what happens when you run around playing with moths and caves. <laughs> I'm about to break you. my legs. Yeah, you are. You call me Crazy Legs at that point. Like that, <laughs> uh, what's that one? His name was actually Crazy Legs and Don't Drink Your Juice in the Hood. I don't think I've ever seen that going, movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, oh my goodness. He was a weird character, but cool. I liked it. <laughs> you would. You like weird things. Yeah. Man, lithium for days. Yes, please. I'm gonna. All right, give me. How much lithium do I have? Hell yeah, we're gonna be needing that. I still need to look up how to do uh, arrow gel. What is arrow gel? For? Uh, we're gonna need it for the. Prawn hey, I'll take, yeah, I'll take a diamond. Uh, we're gonna need it for the prawn suit. Mm -hmm. And uh, prawn suits, pretty important. We're gonna need him. Okay. Uh, You're especially passing if we're a gonna... whole bunch of it. You just I, gonna... I, I, my bags are gonna get full and. All right, can I see, please? We've got four minutes to get outside. Yeah, here. that's what I'm trying to work on right now, is getting out of here. All right, so there we go. Outside, yay. So it would appear that our rescuers are on their way. Gene, do you know what's going to happen to our rescuers? I don't know. You've kind of been hinting at it for the past few episodes. because I... Oh, I, I deliberately told you. Yes, you did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely told me that our rescuers are going to need rescuing. In the arms Survivor, of we see an angel. Man, I don't know how you held out down there. We broke an atmosphere, and we're descending towards the landing site. Are you now? Is that a building down there? Yes, it is. What do you mean you can't identify it? Oh, it's a gun. Hold on. No turning back now. Uh, there should be. Positions, everyone. Touching down there in it 10, is. 9, Why would they bring eight. the entire ship? Wouldn't they just have a little ship come down oh. and pick you up? It's coming from the building? Yep. They don't have something like Change Star course. Trek. Set thrusters to full. Now why could it was much bigger? Why did they shrink it? I don't know, man. Well, last time you could see the ship. Like clear as day. Are we gonna have another crash site to go and investigate? No well, maybe. I mean, but those look like tiny bits. Well, like masturbation, we're alone. Anyways, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Let's go take a look at this big baddie. Okay, this is what I don't understand. Why isn't it like Star Trek? Couldn't they just beam him up? <laughs> uh, scans indicate the destructor is composed of a metal alloy with un... President Scans energy. indicate this structure is composed of a metal alloy with unprecedented integrity. Oh. No match is found in database. Performing structural analysis. Data. Unknown language. Attempting translation. 
Uh, discoveries inside the alien facility. It was not possible to translate any useful information. However, scans have returned to some information. Shut up, horn! What horn is that? I don't know what horn that is. But it is seriously annoying. Anyways. It is likely a solid-state computer, although there is no clear way to interact with it. On approach, it began producing a low-frequency radio wave containing complex but recognizable data patterns. It is likely the alien species which designed this technology evolved or genetically selected sensory uh, apparatus to hear and understand the information being broadcast by this device and communicate back. The mental processing power required to perform this kind of tele telepathy would imply that the designers were considerably more psychologically developed than the common human. Assessment for the research required. So what they're saying is they some smart motherfuckers. <laughs> and we dumb. So, so if they're so smart, then why did they set it up so they're constantly shooting people down? Yes, please. What is that? It's an ion cube. What does that do? Um, it's... I should probably have scanned it first. Actually, can I, uh... Da, 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 da. Analysis of the patterns on the walls cannot ascertain whether their purpose is aesthetic or functional. For no, the just data keep it required. on. Alright, I'll just keep it on. I'll scan it later. Well, just or tell I us might, what I it may is. I may not find another one. Is that one? Oh, there's gonna be plenty more. Oh, here we go. <laughs> yeah, let's not go touching alien objects without actually knowing <laughs> what it does. All right, uh, the ion cube. This green mineral substance has no uh, uh, entry on periodic table and has an unprecedented ability to store huge amounts of ionic energy within it, likely grown artificially. Cubic appearance suggests that it's been cut from a large deposit. Each cube contains the equivalent ionic energy of five kilotons of TNT. Under the right conditions, the energy could be released into, the, into a control manner. Like, uh, likely uses batteries, but would use, uh, but would require substantial power source to be recharged. Assessment, valuable energy source. So can we use that for our stuff? Yep, that is exactly what that's saying. Fantastic. Unknown language, attempting translation. All right. Uh, enforcement platform schematic. The data set appears to be multi-dimensional schematic of some kind. By mapping the pattern uh, to three-dimensional space, it's possible to gather basic... Quit glowing on me, motherfucker. <laughs> uh, gather a basic understanding of this facility's internal workings. The facility's unknown construction material is identified as an ultra-hard, non-reactive metal uh, am amalgam synthesized from off-world materials. There is no indication that it could be damaged or destroyed by any available means. The schematic indicates that the facility was to be powered by a separate, self-sustaining power plant located elsewhere on the planet. The location is not listed. But there is evidence that the designers intended to harness the planet's natural thermal lit energy. The facility consists of an upper engineering section where the schematic was found and a control room which is accessed via security sealed elevator shaft or a separate underwater moon pool, which I, I think I know where that moon pool is. And there's some leviathans there. Uh, control, the control room is in the lower section of the house, the only known way to interact with the facility. However, the schematic does not uh, detail the operation procedure or installed security measures. <sighs> Okay, so Your this is the elevator. Your best of interfacing with this facility is achieved by accessing the oh, control that's room fun. in the lower section. Or like in an elevator, but you didn't have to push the button and wait. That's right. Can you go up? Yeah. Yeah, you can go up. Oh my gosh. Can we build those? I would love to have one. Force field control. You want me to build? Oh, we can't build those. I mean, like, someone so thought of it. Here's so here's the obviously... giant moon pool. You can actually park the cyclops in it. Wow. Uh, but unfortunately, how inside there, damn it, uh, is Leviathans. So not a fun place. I actually, uh, one of my playthroughs, I, I built a base inside of your. When not you were inside doing here, this game like, on your outside. own? Huh? When you were doing this game on your own? Yeah. What is this? The alien rifle. Can that kill a Leviathan? No. Uh, strong resemblance to human weaponry and form. This device must have been self-designed, have been designed with a humanoid user in mind. Whether the aliens that built the structure were themselves humanoid or otherwise employed to uh, the use of humanoids is unclear. What is clear that they were considered defending this facility a necessary precaution. There is no obvious way to remove the rifle from the case. Well, you fucking get a rock and you break that bitch. <laughs> That's how you break glass circle around here. Ah, so there is the portal, which you need a... How do you know it's a portal? 
will we eventually be able to turn it on and go through the portal? Right. Where does that take us? Um, that I don't remember. Do we ever meet the aliens that are on this planet? Not, not that I'm aware of. Hmm. I do remember that they have a name. I just can't remember what the hell they're called. So, this is a survival game. And it seems like you can be on it as long as you want. Just collecting and building and doing all this other stuff. But right. Does the storyline actually progress like other video games? Yes, there is an actual story to it and an ending. There is an ending. Yeah. Doomsday device. Scans indicate this device contains enough potential energy to destroy the entire planet, along with most of the solar system. Fortun Fortunately, this has malfunctioned. It looks functional to me. <laughs> 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 That's crazy. <laughs> Uh, the last time I was in here, they didn't have those little pods with interesting artifacts. Interesting. Scans indicate the facility's control room lies beyond this doorway. Okay. What are those tablets I have left? What lies beyond the doorway? The control room. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm not seeing anything. So here is the fabled gun shut off button. Interact. Clicky, clicky. Um, that does not look fortuitous. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> what the hell? Translate. The control panel is broadcasting a message. Translation reads, warning, infected individuals may not disable the weapon. This planet is under quarantine. Ooh. So what that means is we got to get cured before we can... Um, Disengage that. Translating uh, background broadcast. Downloading summary to data bank. Seek fluid intake. Oh, good thing I brought a little bit of water with me. Vital signs stabilizing. Alright. So we're pretty much done here. Let's go let's take a look. So is, will we be able to be cured? Yes. Yes, that there is a possibility. Why is it only a possibility? Well no, there is a there is a way. There is a way to yes. get cured. As the kids would say, do you know the way? It's a weird meme that I don't quite understand. Having to do with a uh, Ugandan knuckles a video game. Anyways. Huh? Yeah, you'll have to look it up. It's strange. Okay. <laughs> it's something to do with VR chat or something like that. <clears throat> Any, VR really? chat? Yeah, virtual reality chat. I'll explain it to you later. Okay, thanks. Okay. <laughs> Gene's not on the up and up on the current today's trends, apparently. Yeah, not so much. <laughs> she lives her life in a, a bubble. I live my life as a mom <laughs> with little kids. Who, who, my my pop culture expands to Dora. <laughs> okay, okay. And uh, what is that other one that the kids are into? Uh, drugs. No, our Alcohol. kids. Our kids oh, are too young kids? for all that kind of nonsense. Ooh, man. The new cartoons that they're into. I don't know. Uh, Teen Titan Go. The, uh, Seen that one with the kids. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you're so hip and cool. I am super hip and cool. That's I right. am the coolest of the cool. <laughs> I mean, if there was an award for being cool, you'd get second place. For sure. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Look, not even when I was young was I ever into pop culture. <laughs> I, I make it a point of knowing said shenanigans, so when my kids get into it, I can at least be uh, that cool dad. <laughs> <laughs> like, dad, you nerd. so cool. I'm be like, I know. Get away from me. You ain't cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. Hey. That one's broken. Now I can make them. Purple tablet. Uh, the carbon-based device is lighter than it looks, and it features a symbol that resembles a U, lit up in purple. Despite the onboard power still functioning, algae growth on the exterior indicates it was abandoned hundreds, perhaps thousands of years ago. While the technology is far beyond Federation levels, and there is no obvious way to interface with it, it should be nonetheless be possible to fabricate a precise physical copy of the device if necessary. So, okay. Ah, there it is. Ion cube and two diamonds. Fun so, times. We will 
have to make those, by the way. All right. That is right. But we have to get cured first before we can go exploring more, or? What is that thing? Is that a leech? I don't know. That's a biter. It's a I what? I wonder if it bites. Huh? I'm gonna get a basket. Does it say biter on it? Yeah, it said biter. <laughs> All right, fuck him. I'm tired of chasing after him. Mr. Marlin! Come here! Is it a biter? What? I'm trying to remember one of the insults when we were kids. Was it a biter? I, I don't I don't I know much harder insults than you do. <laughs> well you had like scrubs, right? Yeah. I'm trying According to, think. to TLC, scrubs don't get shown no love. <laughs> <laughs> And they also say, you know, stick to rivers and lakes that you're used to and don't chase waterfalls. Oh my goodness. Which brings the question is, is how many running waterfalls have they ran into? Right? I mean, seriously. Power up. Power up. Don't go chasing waterfalls. I never understood that. How do you chase a waterfall? It's <laughs> it's stationary. It's not going anywhere. <laughs> well, I mean, a waterfall does run, I guess. Well, no, but the where the water is falling is stationary. Uh, okay. I decided not to look too much into that. Whatever. <laughs> I'm just saying. Because it uh, not to make much sense to me. You're going to throw out metaphors. You might want to make sure that the people listening to it actually know what in the world you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> so otherwise, 10, 15 years from now, <laughs> they're going to be going, yeah, Somebody's going to be playing a video game, doing a Let's Play, and go, <laughs> What does it mean to chase waterfalls? I don't get it. <laughs> Let's privately reflect on this. <laughs> privately reflect on what you honestly think chasing waterfalls is all about. Yes, but where I come from, private reflection time is something you do behind your own doors, you know, where nobody's looking. Oh my goodness, stop it. There's maybe a sock involved. You're awful. That's not private reflection. That's private mutilation. <laughs> mutilation? I'm not removing the thing. I'm just polishing it. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sock, not a knife. <laughs> <laughs> maybe mutilation is the wrong word. Yeah. Abuse, maybe? Yeah, just like in the other episode, you said fucking impregnate. <laughs> <laughs> you have a tendency, young lady, to use the wrong words. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. So what is that? Uh, carrying high priority passengers remains. You know, let's save and go check that out. Oh, we're going to go check out the... Yeah, we're going to risk it. Risk it for the biscuit? Yeah, that's right. Where is this biscuit coming from? Lip biscuit! What? <laughs> oh my gosh, should we jump back to the 90s for a minute there? Or early 2000s. Lip biscuit was early 2000s? Yeah. I thought they were, they were late 2000s. 90s. They played with corn and other various bands. I never got into corn, honestly. Uh, it was a couple of my favorite bands. Limp Biscuits a little old for me. They, they got old for me. There was me. only a couple Limp Biscuit songs that I really enjoyed. Yeah. It's, you know, it's, there was only, I mean, like, I liked corn and I still like some of corn stuff, but Limp Biscuit just got whiny, like Creed. You know, I was just, you know, they were, they were always like, Mike, check! What's it all about? You know, I'm just like, why does it always sound like he's whining and yelling at the same time? <laughs> <laughs> Although a unique trait to be able to do both at the same time. Hmm. <laughs> so, anyways. Yeah, no. You know the songs I like. Yeah. I, I don't even know the bands I like, but you. <laughs> <laughs> Gene's you know. a big fan of like Lit and Pink and. Uh, well, Pink's my favorite. Yeah, there's a, there's there's a few bands that she likes, but she can never remember them. So we're in the car. And I'm in charge of uh, uh, the Picking radio. The, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, you know I, what I, I like. I have to remember everything she likes and then play <laughs> it for her. I'm really bad with band names. Is that a giant tree? Matchbox 20. I know I like Matchbox 20. Okay. All right. And um, where the hell am I? Who's another one? Uh, Who else do I like? I, I'm not thinking of that. I'm thinking what this is. I've never seen that before. Oh, hey, there's Mr. Lifepod. Let's make sure I'm not going to hit anything on the way down. All right, there's a sand shark. How far down is it? Uh, I don't know. I haven't gotten any warnings. Is that which life pod is this? Uh, this would be life pod 13. Oh, it's one of ours. Yeah, let's take a look around here. 
one of our possible friends so that we were at maybe we deaths. knew, maybe so. we ate with lunch with this person. <laughs> no, he's the high priority target. Like they asked him to make a recording and he's like, why do I have to make a recording? Passing 100 meters. All right, let's efficiency. go see who this high Are you priority. on the same choo-choo I'm on? Cause I don't think you are. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> My creators, the cherishers and sustainers of worlds, give me this day my daily pleasures as I give to those who seek pleasures from me. Alright, so we want a Catholic spin of a prayer. <laughs> right. Or a spin on a Catholic prayer. In life, truth, and love for mine is the power. I am the one. On and off and on again. In that imminent. The universe plays with I'm itself. just saying. I am done playing as this bundle of flesh. This guy sounds like a Nazi. He sounded evil. Just saying. Sounded a little creepy, yeah. He might have just gone a little insane. <laughs> I mean, he did just get blown out of the sky and didn't think he was going to be in a All ocean. Right. <laughs> I mean, the dude did sound evil. I'm just saying he was evil. All Do you right. know that he's evil? Are you? He sounded evil. Oh, okay. So you're just speculating then. We don't know, actually know if there's no is... speculation. Ho homeboy was evil. No, that that is a speculation unless you know for a fact that he is evil. He's fucking evil. You can hear it in his voice. Oh my goodness, you're that still guy, speculating. That guy pets cats in the opposite direction of the course of the fur. <laughs> that is evil. It that is doesn't a pure put evil it person. back. <laughs> He's that kind of evil. That's how you know someone's evil is that's when they right. pet a cat the wrong way. When and they fuck don't their fur up it. and then don't mess it, you know, don't pat it back. And then they have to lick themselves for like 20 minutes to get that <laughs> shit straight. And if they have a cat as fat as ours, mm -hmm. some places he can't reach. So that's right. that's torture. Right? That's, that's the just... very definition of evil. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Life pod 250. Uh, that's pretty far away. Do you want to hit it? Sure. Uh, hmm. Why am I listing? Listing. Is that when you go sideways? Yeah. Okay. All right. That was weird. Uh, anyways. So, yeah. Uh, myself, a proud non-evil person, I always put my cat's furs back in the right direction. Mm-hmm. What is going... Am you I stuck? stuck? Oh. You are. Okay. All right. You need to go up a little. Yeah. More. Right. Where? Okay. Face is that way. What is? Okay. So I'm already at a pretty good height. Uh, or depth, I guess is what you want to call it. Anyways. So, for the next couple episodes, um, why don't you guys tell us what you want us to do? Where you want us to go? So we obviously need to concentrate on getting our depth. Um, uh, much lower than what we currently are at with uh, the Cyclops, the mm -hmm. Sea Moth, and then inevitably we need to make the Prawn suit here soon, but I need to find out what it is for Aerogel. So maybe next episode we'll go on a hunt for Aerogel and get that Prawn suit made. Uh, but we do need the MK2, MK3 um, upgrade so we can go into the Lava Zone and start working on our cure. Ooh, there's a Lava Zone? Yeah, and if you think the Leviathan's scary... <laughs> yeah. It's a pretty tight fit to get down that way, uh, so we're gonna need the prawn suit for sure. Um, because it's hot down there. Really fucking hot. Um, and our our player can't sustain that damage on his own. Okay. So we need the prawn suit to protect us. Okay. Uh, and unfortunately, I don't think the sea moth can go that low, so sea moth has to stay up. Um, there's nothing else we can do to get the sea moth to go any lower? No. No, the prawn suit and the cyclops are the two lowest depth uh, uh, ability machine or vehicles we have. How much longer until we get to where we're going? Uh, we're going back to the base right now. Oh, okay. Yeah, so. So, anyways, we're going to go ahead and park this B. So, yeah, tell us down in the comments what you would like to see next. Uh, personally, I'm thinking the Aerogel Prawn suit is going to be the next step, but that, I'm going to do a little bit of grinding for that on the side. Um, and then, what do you call it? Uh, uh, 
Engine so that way when we go into down. the next episode, we're able to just progress. So, yes. Anyways. It sounds like we need to progress in several different ways. So if you want to see which progression first or which section you're more interested in, this would be the time to say it. That's right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for this episode. I thank you for watching. And if you like the video, go ahead and leave a like. If you have anything to say, put it down in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe right. and keep calm. Yeah. Keep calm. <laughs> <laughs> right. You guys have a good one. Thank you.